Welcome into Jacksonville, Alabama and Terrier Vision. I'm Mark Hauser. This afternoon, the Wofford Terriers in round two of the FCS playoffs take on the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. Normally at this point, I pitch it to the highlight segment. However, due to NCAA rules, we're not allowed to bring you the highlights. The Terriers win the game 17-14. to Let's go ahead now and check out Mike Ayer's post-game talk to his team, and then we'll visit with the coach. First and foremost, it's a tough football game. The thing we did we found a way to win. It's kind of ironic. The journey that we've traveled, the teams that we've played, prepared us for this day and this moment. You came ready to play. We're going to do a better job of coaching you next week to get you ready for the next step. I don't know what it is. Here's the scenario, and I'm going to lay it on the table. If Georgia Southern beats William and Mary, we've got Georgia Southern at home. Yeah. Yeah. All right? If William and Mary beats Georgia Southern, we sacking, packing, and racking, and taking a ride up to Virginia. Listen to me. It does not matter whether we play at the Sparkle City or we go to Virginia Beach and surf. It's one of those deals that it comes down to this. We in it. We in it. Half of the teams that were left are gone. But we in it, and that's the key. We found a way to win. We hung in there, and you guys did a great job of fighting the fight. I appreciate your effort. Again, understand, we're better than we showed, and we're going to show it very shortly. One week from today. Yep. Coach, nothing like an old-fashioned slobber knocker. They were determined as you were to play physical football. It was a very physical football game. We knew going in it would be. Uh, they have a lot of two-back uh, run game. Their offensive line was just huge. Uh, we looked at their tight ends, and uh, they got some men, I'll guarantee you that. And then their, their backs were very physical kids. Uh, I, I think the, the key in the game, no doubt, came down to uh, playing defense until the end. Uh, there were many times that we were in the red zone, and, uh, and they came away with no points. And then um, when you looked at field position that we had offensively, a lot of times we were so backed up, it, it made it difficult. Uh, we did not execute as well as we needed to, but we executed well enough to win the game. And I thought our kids laid it on the line. I thought they got after it. Uh, our coaches did a great job of getting everybody ready, and, and our kids were mentally ready for the game. So uh, a great win. Uh, there was 16 that started today. There's only eight of us left, and uh, we're very fortunate and very blessed to be part of that eight. Eric Breitenstein busted that big run in the second right. quarter, then went down with an injury. Right. Talk about the injury, what he was able to do to come back. He, he finished with close to 180 yards. Well, uh, he ended up going down on the turf, had his arm pinned. Uh, I think he got a, a bruise in his uh, shoulder. But it, uh, it, it was one of those deals where doctors checked him out, and he said, Coach, I'm all right. And so, you know, he continued and played. Uh, had a big day. and. Uh, He's one of those guys that uh, when uh, the game's on the line, you, you definitely like to have him carrying the football. Um, Brenton Burson had a great day um, throwing the football, and I thought our offensive line protected well, our backs protected well, and, um, and we sur survived uh, in the kicking game. Uh, today was one of those days where uh, it was close uh, in a couple situations. Uh, to have a play bust, but somebody made a play. And uh, we're, we're just thankful and, and glad as can be to, to be going on. Were you surprised because they, they were averaging over 200 yards throwing per game, were you surprised they ran the ball as much as they did in the third quarter? Well, I think if you look at their uh, offensive line versus our defensive front, uh, we're small. And I think their mindset was we can basically go shoot to shoot and we can knock these guys off the football. Um, and by controlling the clock, and it's our philosophy as well, if, if we control the clock, if we have the ball on offense, if we're moving it and then eventually we score, then uh, you know that, that other team 
they, they can't get their offense out there to beat you. So I think that was part of it. And then, uh, quite frankly, uh, I thought they threw the ball effectively. But uh, you, you get a couple picks, and then uh, all of a sudden you, you're, you're not as likely to throw the football. Uh, again, we played till the end. That was the key. We played till the end, and uh, proud of our guys. So with the victory, the Terriers up their overall record to 10-2. and two. Now it's on to the quarterfinal round of the FCS playoffs. Wofford will either play at home next week against Georgia Southern or perhaps go on the road to Williamsburg, Virginia, where they would take on the College of William & Mary. Again, Wofford over Jacksonville State in the second round, 17-14. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.